Hello everyone, I want to welcome you back to the kitchen. So today we are making another Cajun classic that I love so much. It is chicken sauce pecan. So to my returning viewers, I really want to thank you for all the support that you have given my channel. And to all my new viewers, I want to say welcome. And I hope you enjoy my content. So let's grab our aprons, let's get our ingredients, and let's get started. For our chicken sauce piquant, we are going to need the following. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs, salt, black pepper, white pepper, cayenne pepper, chili powder, paprika, dried thyme, bay leaves, oil, flour, onion diced, celery diced, a poblano chili seeded and diced, garlic, Roma tomatoes, regular tomatoes, chicken broth, and hot sauce. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is get our seasonings together. So we have got Two, uh, one and a half tablespoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, half a teaspoon of white pepper, two teaspoons of cayenne, uh, two teaspoons of chili powder, and one teaspoon of paprika. So once we get these all in a bowl, we're going to mix this up together. I'm going to try and not make too big of a mess. start putting our chicken together for our sauce pecan. Alright, so we have our chicken thighs that we've cut up into bite-sized pieces. And I've got me a little bleach towel here because anytime we're working with raw meat, we want to make sure that we're cleaning up okay. So I'm going to put about half of this in for right now. And we're going to give this a good toss. Make sure we get it evenly coated. And then we're going to set them to the side. So we're going to do this with all our chicken. And once we've got our chicken evenly coated with flour, we're going to move over to the stove. So we've got some oil that's heated up over a medium high heat in a large Dutch oven. So now we are going to brown our chicken. And we're going to be doing this in batches. And be careful this grease, this oil is hot. So you don't want to burn yourself. And there we go. So we're going to let this cook till it's golden brown and crispy. And then what we're going to do after that, we're going to move it to the side and then move on to our vegetables. Okay, so I know I said we were moving on to our vegetables, but I was wrong. What we're now going to do is we're going to make a light roux, a small roux for this dish. Um, what I've done is I've saved the flour which I coated my chicken in. If you want, you can use fresh flour, totally up to you. And I ended up having to add in about another quarter cup of oil so we're going to get this added in here 
and get our roof started. And as always, when making a roof, we want to go low and slow because if you burn it, you got to start all over. So we want to get to a nice, almost like a between a peanut and a chocolate color. And once we get there, then we will add our vegetables. Okay, so I've got my roux about where I want it. And so to this, I'm adding in my onions, my poblano, my celery, and my garlic. And we are going to cook this for about five minutes till our vegetables start to become tender. Okay, so this has been going about five minutes. As you can see, the onions are starting to turn clear. So to this, we are going to add in our tomatoes. And also our Roma tomatoes. Give it a quick stir. Move this out the way. Then we are adding in our chicken stock or chicken broth. And we're going to be putting in about five cups. And that should be roughly five. So give this a quick stir. Try not to make too big of a mess. Also, while we're doing this, we want to try and get up that good stuff off of the bottom. There we go. And we are going to add in our bay leaf and thyme. And so now we are going to add our chicken back in. As you can see, it's all nice and brown. And try and not make a big, big mess. Because that's what could even easily happen. Grab my towel real quick. Give this a good mix. And so now we're just going to lower this to a simmer and then we're going to cover it and let it cook for about an hour. Okay, so this has been going for an hour and I have been stirring this uh, occasionally during the cooking process. So this looks good. So what we're going to do is give this a quick taste test. And I ended up adding about another cup and a half of chicken broth to this because I found that it was too thick. Um, so that's an option when you're cooking it. Mmm. Perfect. And if your guests want it a little bit hotter, all they have to do is add a little bit of hot sauce to it. So we're going to go on and get this plated up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get everything ready. So I've got us some fresh rice here. So we're going to set that in the middle of our plate. Sorry, our bowl. All right, let's give this a good look. Man, that is some good salty pecan. So let's go ahead and load up our bowl.
So I hope everybody's enjoyed the video. So now that we've got our sauce pecan completed, I'm going to have a taste. So, oh my God, this meat is just so tender, it's literally falling apart. I'm going to have to have a touch of hot sauce to this one for me. So, I want to thank all my subscribers and uh, for all the support that y'all give my channel. I want to say welcome. And to my new viewers, please remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So, until next time, enjoy. I'm going to finish off this bowl.